right here, remote deposit. So we got this deposit for 2,540.27. And let's say I have uh, an invoice for this dollar amount. So I'm gonna click on new, click on invoice. I'm gonna create the invoice because it hasn't been created yet. I'll create the invoice or assume this invoice was already created. I'm just gonna ask you, imagine this invoice was already created before you were doing this. Um, and I'm gonna put here, there's a random generic name, copy the dollar amount. And let's say this is from November. Click on save. Okay, you will notice, I'm gonna scroll down until we get to that payment. Notice that this now says uh, records found. So records found means there's a potential match. There's another invoice that I can match with this. If this payment agrees with that invoice, you just click on confirm and match that. But I'm gonna make it even more weird and interesting. Let's say that I have two invoices that add up to this dollar amount, not just that one invoice. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into the invoice. And I'm gonna duplicate it. Change the date. We'll make this one thousand dollars less. Click on save. Again, I'm, I'm duplicating them for the sense of working a little bit faster. Duplicate that. I'll pick a different customer, even. Pick that one. Okay, and we'll make this a thousand dollars flat. So now we got sort of combinations. We got it could potentially match multiple things. So I'll close that and then we'll go back into our banking. I'll refresh that. And we'll scroll down to that deposit for 2,500. Let's say that there was two checks from customers in there. So we'll scroll down. And notice that there's multiple records found. So it's telling me, look, there is this potential one invoice that matches beautifully 100%. But if I click on find other matches, you will see that there's actually combinations that will get me there, right? So there's, you know, there's the two payments that will, that will get me there, as you can see very clearly, or there's a single invoice that will get me there. So of course, you're going to have to check with your actual deposit, look at the deposit image and see which one works. But QuickBooks is super smart. It tries to figure out what combination of transactions could potentially uh, be that. So let's say we're gonna match it to these two, click on save. And what happens with the match is that QuickBooks, the match actually also creates a transaction. So I'm actually gonna go in here and go into the uh, deposit, okay? And show you that what one of the things that QuickBooks did was actually create like actual deposit money in the bank. So it took the, the, the invoice payment and deposit into the bank. Uh, to make sure, I'm going to open up the invoice to show you, and then we'll look at the, the, the transaction here. Notice that there's an actual uh, payment being received and plugged into the bank. So it, it creates the extra transaction that forces the money to go into the bank so it can be uh, reconciled.